to expect from this show. This next award category is for one of gaming's most popular genres, action adventure. The breadth of what is considered an action adventure game also leads to this regularly being one of our most competitive categories. Incidentally, for the past three years, the Game Award winner for Action Adventure has gone on to win Game of the Year. So, Ooh. Ooh. here are the nominees for Best Action Adventure Game. I forgot the nominees, so let's see. That game just came out. There's no Ghost way. Of Tsushima. I'm going to say Ghost. Marvel's Spider-Man, Miles Morales. I'm going to say Ghost. Ori and the Will of the Wisps. I'm going to be surprised Star if it's Spider-Man. Star Wars is a really good the game, The Fallen Order. I don't know. I, I don't know anything about Last of Us Part Two, to be honest with you. But I hope it's Ghost. The Last of Us Part Two. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Honor of awarding best community support. This category debuted last year, and it represents the games that truly value their player base, demonstrated through communication and respect. <laughs> Not Call of Duty. <laughs> Apex Legends. Okay. Destiny Two. Okay. Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. Then yeah, I don't think they're gonna win. Fortnite, No Man's Sky, and Valorant. I swear to God. And the winner. I think Valorant is might take this. Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. What? Finally, we get to acknowledge <laughs> the winner for best debut okay. game. Okay. I think it might be Valorant because it's new. League of Legends. Okay. <laughs> Let's go Overwatch. Come on, please. Let's go Overwatch League. League of Legends World mm. Championship. Okay. League of Legends, y'all big fans. What the hell is this? Oh, for a second I said, yo, this looks like a mobile game, but hold up, hold up. Is this, is this online? Yo, that, that Star Wars squad, Squadrons, man, that might have a, might have some problems, man. This, this game looking type lit. Oh, snap, hold up. <laughs> okay, first game I'm actually excited for. This looks interesting, this looks interesting. Okay, February 2020. Okay, it's not, and it's for Steam. And it's for Steam. My PC will not run that. Nominees are going to be joining us live via Zoom Whoa. from all over the world. Man, y'all using Zoom? Zoom. Get on that Discord, man. Do I see Reggie in the right? <laughs> Reggie, what you doing, bro? Everyone is here. Or at least I thought everyone was here. It does sound like we're still expecting someone else to arrive. Smash Bros. announcement already? That sounds like Smash Bros. I remember they said every, everyone's here. Oh boy, okay, who is it? These are always my favorites. This is like a movie, bro. Hold up. We're back to this? I didn't beat the, the campaign or story to this yet. The little board thing. Is this for the new fighter? Who is this? Oh, is another Final Fantasy person? I'm guessing that's a guy from Final Fantasy. I don't know. I don't know this guy. But I bet people are freaking out right now. <laughs> oh, people must be going crazy right now. I, I, I was about to go crazy if I knew the person, but I don't know this guy. He's a big sword, though. I know another sword fighter, but this guy's a big sword, so it's different. Dang, why Marvel keep getting killed like that though? <laughs> uh. 
Is he the villain for the 7 remake? Yep, Final Fantasy, another one. Another person. Comes out this month, bro. Okay, now that's big. That's big, bro. Nah, I, need, I, need, I need that ghost. guy. I need the ghost. I need ghosts. I need ghosts. I need Jin. Laura Bailey as Abby, The Last of Us Part 2. Getting into another game announcement for the first time right here at the Game Awards. Check it out. What is it? What is it? What is it? What could it be? What could it be? Could this be Rainbow? Rainbow Six Siege Quarantine? Y'all remember that? I got announced? Like an at E3? No, what is this? Warner Brothers? Okay, ooh. ooh hold up, zombies? Alien, what's up? Plague, what's up with this? Hold up. Rhymes of World War Z. This really reminds of World War Z. Left for Dead 3? Oh, uh, magic. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> So zombies, some zombies are just ignoring them. Definitely not the walking dead. Right, right now it's just telling me it's just another zombie game. Oh, hold up, that or like parasite game. Okay, hold up, four arms. What the heck? Okay, special zombies, okay, yeah, that's expected. This is PvE. I mean, I could just play World War Z. Oh, that's a big guy. Yeah, I don't know what this... I don't know what this is yet. He's a bigger guy too. I mean, back for blood. It's a zombie game. Like I, well, there's World War Z. There's other games out there. Let's see. Joined by Chris Ashton of Turtle Rock Studios. Uh, this is pretty exciting for all us Left 4 Dead fans. Of course, uh, you guys are known for all the amazing work Left 4 Dead, and now you're building uh, this. Hold up. Building on the legacy with this new zombie co-op shooter. Uh, what's new? What can you I just got the name Back well, for Blood. Left 4. Do more and bigger, right? Okay, now I'm more excited. More characters, uh, more missions, more story. Uh, but we also wanted to have a bigger variety of zombies. I should have put the right? two two together. It looked so it looked bigger. exactly like so Left 4 Dead. Got these twenty foot tall uh, zombie monstrosities that are back for blood. Take, you know, the this is basically Left 4 Dead three. To <laughs> Why not call it Left 4 Dead three? Probably would have made more sales if you called Left 4 Dead three. I think you've prepared a little surprise for everyone watching, right? Oh, back yeah, for like, blood. Uh, movies are cool, but uh, gameplay is king, right? So let's see some of that. Okay, How Left 4 Dead is it? It, it, it first person. Back for blood. First person. I need to see Left 4 Dead. I just, please. I didn't realize it, man. I did. Yo, it's Left 4 Dead. Just say it's Left 4 Dead. Why? Why new name? Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. This is Left 4 Dead 3. Give me this. Oh, now I'm more excited. It's coming to console too, right? 
I'm excited for this. Okay, it wasn't selling me until it said, oh, yeah, this is the same people who made Left 4 Dead. Yeah, now it's over. So that's a tank? Or the boomer? The tank, right? Yo. The game looks a little booty now. What the heck, yo? I'm ex I'm, I'm I'm this is day one. I don't care. This is day one, man. I was gonna pick up World War Z if it had new stuff, but this this is the zombie experience I'm looking for. Dude, left for this is Left 4 Dead 3. It's not back for blood, okay? Stop calling you that. <laughs> so I don't know why there's no HUD. They should have showed a HUD with this and not just no HUD, but it's whatever. But oh my god, bro. This is technically Left 4 Dead 3. I don't care what they say. <laughs> and then you'll slam it to the ground. Yes. Yes. This is what I want. This is what I want. This is what is going to excite me. Yes. Give me all that. Boomer. Look. Look. They have like almost the same zombie types. Stop calling it back for blood. Yes, PS5. Let's go. Close alpha, okay. You can start playing on December 17th? That's in seven days? What the heck, dude? Uh, this is the 4v4 thing, right? Yeah, this game looks interesting. Ooh. It's like Assassin's Creed Online 4v4, which I know a lot of people wanted. So I'm excited for this game, too. I hope it's not an Xbox exclusive. I actually don't know. This looks very interesting. Very unique, too. Not really a shooter. It's like For Honor mixed with Assassin's Creed. Play early May 7th. Yes, it's coming to PS5 too. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, boys, we're putting the Forza. <laughs> Look at them cars. Them cars be fast. I like fast cars in Forza. Forza is my favorite game. I play, I get Forza every year. Forza car. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. That's actually a nice thing that they did. <laughs> I hope it's Apex, but it's probably not. People don't like this game. I love it. I hope it's not you. I hope you fucking die. <laughs> and Destiny 2, it's alright. If you're into those games, I want you to stop. Stop. I played Season 4 and then I was, and it was bad. Why is this even an option? <laughs> Siege is not one of them. Wow. Very surprising. Well, now it's time to reveal the winner. The nominees are joining us here. Hi, guys. All right, here we go. Uh, and the winner is... The Game Award goes to No Man's Sky. He's like, what? Huh? <laughs> um, I was not expecting that. Yeah, me either. Your boy's not okay, man.
the heck is that, dude? Two years from now. Is it a horror game? What is it? Look like a horror game. I'm feeling some dead space vibes and there's little wonder. I did get dead space vibes from that. Yeah. I didn't want to say it, but I did get dead space vibes from that. Those nominees are Dirt 5. F1 2020, FIFA 21, NBA 2K21, and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2. The game award goes to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Thank you. Thank you. The only good game that's on that list, bro. <laughs> the only good game and on that list. Most anticipated game voted on on Twitter this year. The nominees are Elden Ring. There I said it. God of War sequel. Halo Infinite. Horizon Forbidden West. Resident Evil Village. And... The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I think it might be God of War sequel. And your most might be Legend, but I think God of, God of War is going to take it. Elden Ring. Congratulations to From Software. Look at that. $900 skin, guys. Artsy game. The great city at the end of the world is waiting. So get out there. Looks like PC only though. With a unique skill system at your disposal. Carve your own path across an award-winning open world. And just punch a kid. Even more in this groundbreaking role-playing game. Meet and get to know more of the locals. To reality, baby. Sure thing, champ. Lead the way. If you could only find your guy. It's okay. With full voice acting for every single one of the city's beautiful people. Oh, that's cool. Um, yes. I'm going to unplug the microphone, okay? And leave a bit Honestly, this game looks a lot of fun during quarantine. You're big boy. You can handle it. But I'm going to guess this is a PC only game. So just from the look of it, I'll be very surprised if it comes to consoles. Enjoy the definitive edition of this hit RPG, Disco Elysium, the final cut, a free upgrade for all players. Okay. I was getting the vibe of PC only, but PlayStation, okay. Yeah, I might pick this up, man. The fi That's cool. That's honestly cool, the collector's edition. I might pick that up, dude. I was feeling... Was... That looked kind of cool. <laughs> Last, Last of Us Part 2 is going to be on here again. Oh, here we go. Come on, ghosts. Come on, ghosts. Come on, ghost. Dude, it's a remake. <laughs> Should even count. So it's that guy in Smash. <laughs> this can't be real. Just wanna go if it's Final Fantasy or Last of Us Part 2. Give it a ghost. Look, they got the backdrop ready for Zoom. I swear to God. Oh, um, all right, well, right now we've got another brand new game announcement for you. Check this out. Unexpected. Unexpected, okay. Let's see. See if it's really unexpected. The Last of Us, I mean not Last of Us, Left 4 Dead game was crazy. It's time to go. 
Vin Diesel, okay. Why are you here? <laughs> Family. <laughs> I am Groot. What is Vin Diesel doing here? And why is he half naked? I am the rock, no. <laughs> Dinosaurs, okay. Are these cavemen? Stupid kid. Why'd you scream? Family. What is this game, man? Santiago. What the heck is this game? Ark, what you doing, bro? <laughs> Is a new Ark game? That's right, Ark 2 starring Vin Diesel. And the team at Studio Wildcard has one more announcement for all Ark fans. That's cool. That's cool for Ark. I'll give it to them. We got Vin Diesel. The balance of nature has been altered. There is someone out there who may change our fate, who could lead us out of the darkness. And yet I wonder, hunted and alone on this strange new world. Will they got a show coming too? Is 
Yeah, this is like a full show. It doesn't look like it's just for the game. The show, right? Yep, the animated series. Okay, dang art. Was art that good of a game to have Vin Diesel and a whole animated show behind it? I don't know. I haven't played art. Will I ever? Will play art? No. Russell Crowe and Vin Diesel. They're also in the show. Ah, uh, it's multiplayer. Okay. It's multiplayer game. Again, I don't know what's on this. Oh, it might be Among Us. <laughs> nah, it can't, it can't be Animal Crossing. It's gonna be Among Us, man. Among Us is way too big right now. It's not gonna be you, sorry. No matter how much you try. Be surprised if it's Fall Guys. Screw off. I think Among Us has this, man. Among Us came out of nowhere, they say, ah. And the game award goes to Came out in uh, 2018, by the way. There we go. Three person team. But this one is even extra exclusive, my man. Anyway, we're also going to have something that we had in a way out. We call a friend's pass, which means you buy one copy, you get one copy. This is the same developers of a way out? Hold up. Hold up. I'm getting a little hype. Getting a little hype. Anyway, it's coming out March 26. Enjoy the trailer. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. This, this could be. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is the story of a magical king. One of wizards and warriors. It's an epic day sent upon the high seas. And all is through time and space. Okay. So it's the same concept, but it's a platformer. I like the gritty realistic style of A Way Out, though. That was so good. But I'm interested in this. I'm so interested in this. Okay, I'm liking it now. I'm liking it now. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I like how it's okay. It's more of a platformer now. Man, but I wish it was like another game like like this is like a way out, but like the same storytelling of a way out. I mean, I mean this might be the same thing. I, I'm trying to say like more of a realistic approach because I love the way out. I think that was like one of the best hidden gems of all time. But if it hits the same story beats as a way out, then this game will be amazing. It takes two. Cause up March, early 2020. 
2021, I should say. This year was created by three developers in Seattle. Among Us, here we go. And they've won two awards tonight. Intersloth, they absolutely took over the internet with Among Us. Well, they sent us something special. This is the reveal of the brand new map for Among Us. Check it out, crewmates. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see the new map. Oh, we're in the airship from Henry Sickman. No date. Oh. Get yourself acquainted with the layout of the top at airship. Okay, I like the. I like it, man. I like the voice acting. Some new task, okay. Ooh, okay, new new gameplay elements, okay. Quit grouping up. Choose a room to start in after a meeting. Ooh, okay. Hold up. How big is this map? That'd be this might be tricky, bro. Oh, is that costume kill animation? Uh, we've already seen several characters come in, and we have one more that he's bringing in right now. Oh god. So it's another guest. So let's see who it is. The Terminator? Oh, it's Master Chief. So PlayStation can get Kratos. Xbox can get Master Chief. Okay. Sure. Whatever. Board, right? Well, hello, sir. Oh, that's cool. Hey, Sarge, did you hear? Red versus blue. Already got the news. What news? Master Chief is coming to Fortnite. A fort what now? It's only one of the most popular video games in the world, but more obviously, it's where we are right now. Oh, a whole new part of the no map. idea that we're in Fortnite. Then why do you have a cardboard cut out of Master Chief? Perfectly regular reasons. Whoa, you guys new around here? No. You can shoot him, 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 murder him, kill him, right in the face, pa, pa, right there. Shoot him right in the face. Shoot him right in the face. Shoot him right in the face. Right in the face. Red versus blue. You probably watched it about ten years ago. What are you doing here? Well. It's more than just the Chief coming to Fortnite. This map is, too. It'll be in creative mode starting at 10 a.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. Oh, so that's what we're doing in Ragnarok. You mean Basin. Nah, I'm pretty sure it was called something else. Either way, you can start reliving your favorite Halo memories here in Fortnite. And maybe add your own personal touches to the map. Hey, wait. Does that mean we can have dance battles? Come on, Ninja. What do you say? Uh, I think there's actually one more thing that we should show you. Oh my god, dude. Walking Dead. Walking Dead in Fortnite. Amazing. You just take everything. Ugh. That's actually pissed me off now. So it's like a VR game? What is this? It's uh... Okay, I can dig, I can dig this type of VR experience. Hope it's good. See how interactive it is. Multiplayer modes? Oh God. The online to this. Looks fun, looks fun. What? That's a piece of shrapnel. We had to report for the drill. It was something we had to do. You want to hear the rest of the story? This this actually does not look bad. Graphical wise, it's, 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 it's like the basics for a VR game, but doesn't like the game concept with World War II does not look bad. Like that looks a lot of fun, and you can play through a story. 
That's dope. That's all we can ask for. I mess with it. I mess with it. Is a console too? I have to check that out. Hope it's console too, but I don't think it is. Oh, last one, last world premiere. How, it has to be a big game, man. I'm fine with the games that showed off so far. I'm really excited for Left 4 Dead 3. I don't care what you say. It's Left 4 Dead 3. I'm still on that. Metroid 4? <laughs> Mass Effect? I'm not, I don't know what this is. I was just joking. It's really Mass Effect. Ooh. Mass Effect will continue. That's it. No title, no nothing. Mass Effect will continue. Okay. Okay. It's not it's not dead. It's not gone. Mass Effect is back. And now the game of the year. Come on, Ghost, man. Goes to the Last of Us Part Two. I thought y'all hated that game. Dang, they Last of Us Part Two just completely yeah. got every award. All right, 2020 Game Awards was not terrible at all. I actually enjoyed it a lot. A lot of great games you don't get to see like too much, and the Game Awards really just push every single game, in indie or not. And I think the biggest game to <laughs> to be announced for me is that uh. Left 4 Dead 3. I forgot. What it, Back for the Dead? What was it called? I don't know. It's, it's Left 4 Dead 3 for me, man. That was probably the most surprising for me. A new Smash reveal. I'm trying to think of what else was there. Uh, Mass Effect's coming back. We just saw that. Yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy stuff, man. Uh, I'm excited for next year. Next year has a bunch of games coming out. Uh, we still got a bunch of DC games coming out. A bunch of PlayStation 5 games coming out. Hopefully Halo Infinite. If y'all have Xbox, I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for y'all. <laughs> and January's coming out with a bunch of stuff. Even Disney's like, yo, we're gonna drop some trailers, and they dropped like Loki, uh, the WandaVision show. They drop so much stuff is happening. <laughs> like it's, I'm like I'm excited for next year. We can all forget about 2020. Okay, nothing, nothing good came out of 2020. So yeah, that'll be in of this reaction video. I have like four hours worth of footage to cut through. So I hope I get this up by tomorrow. Peace, peace, of people. Goodbye.